Hi guys, welcome back. Today I've got a nice little nighttime yoga flow for you that's focusing mainly on the legs and the hips. So let's get started. We're just gonna roll our shoulders back, sitting on the feet, knees together. And let's take the shoulders forward now. Let's release, bring the shoulders down, and we'll take our neck to the side. And let's just bring it down diagonally now. And now let's take it to the center. Shoulders are back, nice straight long back and up with the head and we'll take it to the other side. So first side. And now taking it diagonally. Creating a nice rhythm with your breathing here already. So nice deep inhales and exhales. And now let's take it to the center. Nice and slow. Nice deep inhale and we're just going to take the movement back, so head back and now forward and back and forward. So we're just going to do this movement a couple of times. Good. And let's just come back to center now and we're just going to do small circles down just shoulder to shoulder, nice and slow. Awesome guys, let's just release, bringing the head back up. I'm just going to turn around so you can see me, but you can stay put. So we're just coming in the same position, except now we're flexing our feet, sitting on our heels. And just looking up or straight ahead. Stretching out the arches of our feet. Good, just nice deep breaths here. Good, and just take this moment to bring yourself to the present. Forget about what happened today or what's going to happen. You are here right now. Amazing guys, release, release the feet, and we're just going to sit on those heels, and just grabbing the hands behind us, and just opening up that chest, you can create a little arch in the back, and looking back, and we're slowly going to come down, and just stretch those arms behind our head. Staying in an almost kind of child pose. Awesome, guys. Just keep those deep breaths going. We're staying here for about 10 breaths. Feel those shoulders stretching. Feel the arms stretching. And 
let's just release those arms staying in this child's pose you can move your head a little bit if it was in a weird position before you can bring your arms to your sides if you'd like guys let's take a nice deep inhale and we're just gonna slide into our puppy pose so just slide forward getting that chest to the ground you can lift your head up and place your chin on the mat or you can keep your forehead down if that's easier for you and let's just breathe into this stretch hips are in the air Feel those shoulders stretching. This is really great if you've been sitting all day and your back hurts. Let's take one more deep breath and we'll just release out of this position and back into your child's pose. Stretching those arms in front. But if you'd like, you can keep your arms to the sides. And let's just release up into all fours. And we're just going to take a nice little movement side to side. So making a nice curve in our side body and other side stretching that upper body the torso stretching the shoulders just increasing flexibility in this back and shoulder torso area and let's just come to a nice tabletop we're gonna lift one arm up and bring it through and bringing the other arm above our head, stretching it, just kind of creating a little twist action here. Good, and just keep continuing on those nice deep breaths, trying to increase the stretch with each exhale. just come out of this stretch placing one hand on the mat and then the other back to all fours and into your child's pose good and we're just gonna come up back onto all fours and we're gonna come for this nice little side movement again so just creating a nice curve in our side body and the other side nice fluid movement taking your time feel every inch being stretched out and let's just come back to center and we'll take that other arm up and we'll just bring it through other arm above the head and just twisting out here feel your shoulder stretching feel your body and your spine stretching And let's take a nice inhale and just come out of this, hands on the mat, 
and exhaling into our child's pose and just hold here and let's just come out of this and come back to our all fours you can tuck your toes under if you'd like we're just gonna come for a nice cat and cow, so making a nice curve in the back. And now arching. Exhaling in. And inhaling up. Just working with the breath here. Feeling that flexibility increasing in your spine and looking up and coming back in curving that back and looking up arching the back and curving it in and arching and coming back to center and we're just going to come into our child's pose again and just releasing the tension in our lower back just a counter stretch from the cat and cow just release up we're gonna come for our first hip stretch coming into our pigeon position so bending the leg in front stretching the one behind and if you're just here that's totally fine but if you can open up the hip a little bit more then that's also great so wherever you are we're just gonna come down and we're going to do a nice like wave like movement coming back up and back down just warming up this hip before we come down all the way and hold and back up and down and up and down and hold it down now Awesome, guys. Just bringing your mind to the present, concentrating on this stretch, concentrating on your breath. Feel that hip stretching. Feel your hip flexor stretching. And just trying to increase the stretch each time you exhale. And let's come up and out of this stretch. We're just gonna bend the leg behind, tucking it under. And we're just gonna come all the way down. You can lean back like this and stay here, or join me coming all the way down. Feeling that quad muscle stretching and just holding here. breathing nice long inhalation and a nice long exhalation and let's just get ready Get ourselves back up coming from the elbows all the way up and 
and we're just going to keep that back leg bent, stretching the one in front, and just coming for a nice hamstring stretch. Just coming down as far as you can. If this is all you can do, if you can only get up here and hold at your thigh, that's fine. If you can come down all the way, that's also fine. And we're just going to come up and down for these nice wave-like motions like we did in the pigeon pose. Just to kind of warm up into this hamstring. And just coming up and down and just hold it. If this is too easy for you, you can flex your foot like I am doing. And if you'd like, you can stay with those nice wave-like pulses. If this is too intense for you to just hold down and just pulse it out. just bringing the flesh from our sit bones out of the way and just coming down nice and slow bit by bit and we're gonna come for those wave like pulses coming up and down in a nice fluid motion warming up those hamstrings even more Last one, and we're just gonna hold it down now. Wherever you are is where you're supposed to be. Don't push yourself past your limits. Good, keep holding. If this feels at any moment too intense, you can come back to those pulses or release and just come back when you're ready all right let's release up and let's just take that pigeon pose on the other side just wiggling into it into our sweet spot wherever that is and just exhaling down and we'll come for those wave-like pulses, so just coming up and down and up and down, nice soft movements and the last one and let's just hold it down here you can stretch your arms in front I just don't have space for that. <laughs> Feel that stretch in the hips and in the outer hip and in your hip flexor. This is really great if you've just been doing a lot throughout the whole day. Just release the tension in your hips and your legs. And let's just come up, hands on the mat, and we'll just bring our back leg a little bit closer, bending it, tucking it under, and we'll just go down all the way. You can stay up and just lean back if that's what feels better for you. And you can bring your arms out to the sides like I'm doing right now or you can bring them all the way above your head and just breathe into the stretch Good. 
let's just slowly make our way up, bringing ourselves up to our elbows and just coming up with our hands all the way up, stretching that leg in front, keeping the one behind bent and just slowly making our way down, getting ready to do those wave-like pulses, just coming up and down. Up and down, good, and let's just hold it down after this one, and hold. Once again, you can flex the foot if it's too easy for you, that will increase the stretch, and if this is too difficult for you to hold down, then come back to the pulses, or just release if it feels too hard, and come back when you're ready. And let's just come up lifting that head We'll bring the back leg out in front and we're going to get ready for our forward stretch. Just bringing the flesh out from our sit bones so we're sitting exactly on the mat. And let's just go down and slowly up, just like a wave. And you can flex your feet here as well, just to increase the stretch. And let's just hold it down now and just trying to meet that head with the legs. Good. Keep holding, keeping those nice deep breaths going. Breathe into this stretch, especially when it feels like it's getting really hard and intense. Just keep breathing. Don't hold your breath. And let's take a nice inhale and just come up. We'll come to our final pose, bringing the hands behind us, bending the knees, hip width apart. And we're just going to lift those hips up. And you can go back with the head. Stretching those shoulders and the back. Good, keep holding. We're almost finished. And let's just release out of this pose, nice and slow, just rolling your shoulders back. We'll come into an easy pose, and once again, just gonna roll those shoulders around. And we are finished for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed that nighttime flow, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!